So now I'm going to speech again the first presidential speech of our beloved President, Mr. Rodrigo Roa Duterte. No leader, however strong, can succeed at anything of national importance or significance unless he has the support and cooperation of the people. He is asked to lead and sworn to serve. It is the people from whom democratic governments draw strength, and this administration is no exception. That is why we have to listen to the murmurings of the people, feel their pulse, supply their needs, and fortify their faith and trust to us whom they elected to be in a public office. There are many among us who advance the assessment to the problem that we develop our country today, which need to be addressed with our urgency, our corruption, both in the high and low echelons of government, criminality in the streets, and the rampant sales of illegal drugs in all strata of Philippines society, and, and the breakdown of law and order true but not absolutely so for i see this ill as mere symptoms of the virulent virulent social disease that creeps and cuts into the moral fiber of the Philippine society i sense a problem deeper and more deeper and serious than any of those mentioned or all are all of them put together but of course it is not to say that we will ignore them because they have to be stopped by all means that the law allows illusion of faith and trust in government that is the real problem that confront us resulting therefrom i see the illusion of people's trust in our country's leaders the erosion of judicial system, the, re the erosion of confidence in the capacity of public services, public servants to make the people lives better, safer, and healthier. Indeed, ours is a problem that dampens the human spirit, but all is not lost. I know that there are those who do not approve of my methods of fighting criminality, the sale and use of illegal drugs and corruption. They say that my methods are unorthodox and verge on the illegal. In response, let me say this. I have seen how corruption bleed the governments of funds, which were allocated for the use and of lifting the poor from the maradi that they are in. I have seen how illegal drugs destroy individuals and ruin family relationship. I have seen how criminality by means all foul, snatched from the innocent and the uns unsuspecting the years and years of accumulated savings. Years of toll and ten suddenly they are back to where they started look at this from that perspective and tell me that i am wrong in this fight i ask congress and the commission on human rights and all others who are similarly situated to allow as a lover of governance that is consistent to our mandate this fight will be relentless and it will be sustained as a lawyer and a former prosecutor, I know the limits of the power and authority of the president. I know what is legal and what is not. Let me remind in the end of this talk that I was selected to presidency to serve the entire country. I was not selected of any one person or any group or any one class. I served everyone and not only one. That is why I have adapted as an article of faith the following lines written by someone 
whose name I could no longer recall. I have no friends to serve. I have no enemies to harm. Presenting there from. I now ask everyone, and I mean everyone, to join me as we embark on this crusade for a brighter, brighter and better tomorrow. But before I end this, let me express the nation on behalf of the people our condolences to the Republic of Turkey of what has happened in the place. We offer our deepest condolence. So, some people asking me that why I am here. And then I said, I am here because I love my country and I love the people of the Philippines. I, I, I am here, why? Because I am ready to start my work for the nation. Thank you and good afternoon.